What Hampshire's up to here is really changing the lens. The Living Building says we need to have environments and buildings and communities that are not only sustainable but regenerative. We're team teaching a few tutorials this semester on the Living Building. One tutorial is focusing on the cycling of water and carbon. The second tutorial is looking at the effects of microbes on cycling nutrients. And the third tutorial ties it all together by doing a modeling approach. So taking complicated systems and trying to put a mathematical framework. The reason that we're building these wetland boxes is because part of the living building challenge includes restoration of native habitats, in this case wetlands. Wetlands are really important for filtering nutrients and waste. They're a natural filter for water moving through ecosystems. And so we picked some native plant species, a rush and an iris. We're having the students build wetland mesocosms as a representation of a system and they're going to follow how their system grows and the flow of water and waste material through the system.